Understanding Third Inversion, a guide for English language learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating aspect of the English language, the phrase third inversion. This might sound complex, but don't worry. We'll break it down together, making it easy and fun to learn. Before diving into the third inversion, let's understand what an inversion in English is. Inversion is a way to form sentences by changing the order of the subject and the verb. Usually, we say, I am, or he walks. In inversion, we might say, never have I, or seldom does he. It adds emphasis or stylistic flair to our speech and writing. Now, let's talk about the third inversion. This occurs primarily in sentences with auxiliary verbs and a negative adverbial like never, rarely, or scarcely. The structure is negative adverbial plus auxiliary verb plus subject plus main verb. For example, rarely do we see such talent. In this section, We'll look at how to use third inversion in different sentences. Remember, it's often used for dramatic effect or to emphasize a point. For example, never have I been more sure, scarcely had he arrived when the phone rang. These sentences highlight the action by placing it at the beginning. While third inversions can add elegance to your language, it's easy to make mistakes. A common error is using it with the wrong type of verb or in inappropriate contexts. Remember, it's mostly used with auxiliary verbs and in formal or literary English. And there you have it. You now know what third inversion means and how to use it effectively in your English. We hope this video helps you in your language learning journey. Keep practicing and you'll find using these advanced structures becoming more natural. See you in the next video.